impact on. This is the fun bit. <laughs> I mean, are you okay, Steven? I throw up. I've got to get it in slow motion. We're going to miss the cut off. <sighs> Take a break if you want. Take a break. There's a bit of a drop there. Might come forward a bit. Welcome to the Mourn Mountains here in Northern Ireland, where tomorrow I am running the Mourn 77s. That's a mountain race which covers 35 kilometers and it's got 8,700 foot of climbing and you are going to get to come and run the race with me. My name is Stephen Reed, and I'm a filmmaker who loves the outdoors and loves running in the outdoors. And if you like those things, you should go and check out my channel. You might find a few things you'd like on there. And just to give you a taste, here's my teaser. So thanks very much to The Running Channel for asking me to do this guest vlog. Finally, they have crossed the Irish Sea to find out exactly what it is that we get up to over here. And I can't wait to show you the Mourn Mountains. And if you enjoy this video, please like it. Please stick a little comment in it. And also you can let The Running Channel know that they should come over and do more videos over here or just make suggestions of other places they should feature. This is pretty much a self-supported race. Over the seven to eight hours that I'm gonna be out, there's only given it one place where I can do a bag drop. The rest of the time, I gotta carry everything I need. You're kinda on your own carrying all your kit and that is part of the challenge. And if you're unfamiliar with mountain running, my hope is that this might demystify some of it for you. The kit, the techniques, what it's actually like to be in a race. And of course, answer that question that every non-mountain runner asks when they first hear about mountain running, which is, do you actually run up the mountains? You'll find out. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Trail running shoes, comfortable shorts, body glide, put this everywhere, comfortable running socks, my club t-shirt, my race pack, 500 ml soft flask, electrolyte tablets, a filter bottle, energy gels, a caffeine energy gel, a granola bar, a bit of real food, emergency toilet roll, first aid kit, emergency foil blanket, waterproof over trousers, waterproof jacket, compass, map, buff, and a pair of gloves. Full body cover is mandatory on pretty much every single mountain race because the conditions can change really, really fast. That's all my kit. Now I've got to repack it, but let's get to the start line. You deserve purple. purple. Last two important bits of kit, my Garmin because if you can't record it, what's the point in even <laughs> running it? And this, I call my little dibber dabber. There's a number of checkpoints around this entire course. And as you come to each one, you have to boop. This is Steven. Just I'm Steven. This is going to get very confusing, no but yeah, <laughs> Steven's going to be running with me. Up. Looking forward to it. Go Loving it. Can't wait. Whew, I'm feeling really nervous. I've got a little bit of a confession to make because last night I rolled my ankle. When I put my foot in a certain position, it hurts. And that's going to increase the chance that I'm going to roll it again today. So yeah. Just what I need it. The race starts with a little lap around a completely flat field, which I feel like is some kind of cruel joke. And then the first three miles is a third of the climbing as we climb Northern Ireland's tallest mountain, Sleeve Donard. There we go. First proper climb, and already you've learned the secret of mountain running, which is. There's quite a lot of fast walking involved. Oh, loving life. <laughs> What's your name? Paul Daniels, not the real one. Can you show us some of your running tricks? Oh, no. We need to see in a minute, he's just going to fly past, <laughs> past me in a puff of smoke. There's a long way to go. What's This today is going to be roughly equivalent to running two road marathons 
back to back. Burn about four to 5,000 calories in this. This climb is by far the worst. It's just a relentless 850 meter climb from sea level, non-stop. So I get hands, right, we gotta go straight back down. This is the fun bit. You're going downhill, lots of short, fast steps. Running down the mountain is great fun until you come straight into a climb. So I'm gonna finish off my first 500 mils here, the first gel, and then there's a freshwater spring on top of Kamala. Loving it! Water from this is so cold that even on a hot summer's day, I'll give you brain freeze. Ugh. Saying goodbye to the Mourn Wall. The 22 mile long wall that's built over 100 years ago to stop the sheep pooing in the water supply. True story. Woo. This is us down on the trail known as the Brandy Pad. And it's called the Brandy Pad because way back in the history year, it was used for smuggling brandy through the mountains. Just roll my ankle. Here, keep walking. Keep walking. Ah. Um. Ah. I can walk on it. I think it'll lease off. I'll keep going. Ah. I just rolled my ankle. Sympathy from the cyclists. Okay, I'm moving again. That's us at Hare's Gap, now straight into one of the nastiest climbs of the day. Up, Berna. Steven, yes. how are your ankles? Ankles are good. Really, really, really good. Good, I'm, ple I'm pleased for you, I'm really pleased for you. Just a quick question, how's your ankles? Really? How's my ankle? My, yeah, they're, they're just, they're just absolutely Hunky dory. Hunky dory. No, I haven't talked no, about them once. No, no. So, what I forgot to mention is that we have to get to a reservoir after the first four peaks within four hours. If we don't get there, you have to withdraw from the race. Come on. Straight up on the Millmore. How's it going? The wheels have fallen off. <sighs> Finally, some running! The flat bit. Oh, mostly flat bit. Millmore time! <laughs> Meal bags on, that's five. We've now got 50 minutes to get off this mountain, down onto that big open valley down there, follow that river right across to the Ben Cram Reservoir to beat the four hour cut off. See that rock over there? With a big red mark on it. That's from uh, some guy that tripped and fell. <laughs> it's not. Doof. Oh, oh you've long got oh, <laughs> Longer legs. Nailed it. We've <laughs> oh. oh. got to be 15 minutes to get down to the reservoir, otherwise we're going to miss the cut off. Find what I'm after. Uh, <laughs> tangy, tangy. Woo. Here we go, Ben Crumb Reservoir. Five twos. He stashed something up there. Nice to meet you. How are you? This is going on the running channel. Cheers! This is Jules from Lagan Valley Orienteering. Hiya! If you haven't done orienteering, 
Should you give it a go? If you don't know, get to know. Good. That's good. That's good. Good tagline. Yeah, thank you. Hold on to that all day. Yeah, we're waiting. I knew you were coming. Two to go. No time pressure. No! There's a bit of grass on this. It's fibre. You don't want fibre on a day like this. I bumped into a couple of subscribers. They brought me Haribo. Ethan and Archie. Archie, Archie, Archie and Ethan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. These are suspiciously fast around here. Oh yeah, you see For, me. Well, good solid run. <laughs> oh, that's not good. It's had a sudden wave of... Oh, might be a bit dehydrated. It's just slowing it down a wee bit. Really starting to feel this. Don't feel good at all. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you. That helps. My stomach is a bit kind of... If I throw up, I've got to get it in slow motion. <laughs> Binion down. I'm going to get to go all the way back that direction. And up. And up lamb again. Lamb and everything down. <sighs> Right, yeah. secret weapon. Got one caffeine gel. Hopefully, this gives me a boost to get up Lamadamading down. I really hate climbing Lamading at the best of times. It's just, it's just a really rocky, gravelly, miserable climb with not much of a trail. Step is physically painful. We can't quite rest because we still have four miles all the way back down into Newcastle. <laughs> Went running with this guy once. This is more. Now it's time for the world's most dangerous game of hopscotch down the mountain. <laughs> Just realised. Uh, Forgot to introduce Running Rat. Running Rat's my coach, so on really, really long runs, when I'm getting really dehydrated, it starts talking to me. Uh, every fiber of my being wants to stop and walk. So you're just gonna push in, dig deep, and uh, da -da 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 Of, of a 99 with a flag <laughs> and nuts. Oh, there we go. Still an hour's 15 minutes. Well done. Thank you. That wasn't bad, I'll tell you that. That's good. Oh, thanks for running with me. Thank you. Pleasure. <sighs> Always a pleasure. It's the most difficult decision to make today. I'm going to have more than one. Right, okay. Problem solved. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm absolutely exhausted, but I got my little, my little more than seven sevens badge. Really hope that you enjoyed this video, enjoyed my suffering. If you did, feel free to pop on over to my channel where you can enjoy more videos of me suffering and <laughs> doing other stuff in the outdoors. And once again, thanks so much to the Running Channel for having me on. And comment below and tell the Running Channel they need to get over here and I'll drag them out around the trails. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.